Today marks three years since the deadliest and most destructive wildfire to ever strike Kern County. The Erskine wildfire claiming two lives and leveling more than 250 homes. 23 ABC's Tim Callahan went back to some of the hardest hit areas and found a community in recovery and reflection. Travel to the Kern River Valley these days and you'll find a thriving community. Nearly three years after the deadly Erskine wildfire, hillsides once charred reminders of disaster turning green, burnt trees replaced by wildflowers. The Kern River Rapids are running at record pace, bringing with it precious tourist dollars and Lake Isabella at near capacity, perfect for boating and outdoor enthusiasts. But for all the good here, all the beauty, there's a wound many residents still work to heal. Reminders of the day their lives would forever be changed. All of that was a blaze hmm. coming down here. For Ted Hubble and others in Squirrel Mountain Valley, the afternoon of June 23rd, 2016, a day etched in his memory. They could see the smoke over that hill. And right around the same time, they got calls from friends and loved ones saying a fire is coming. They had just seconds to grab their belongings, just moments to get out of this fire before this became a firestorm. He said that fire looks like it's headed up the mountain pretty fast, so you better keep an eye on it, which I did. And uh, it was really scary watching that thing come to us so fast. He and his wife had just minutes to pack up their belongings, their neighborhood, the first area impacted by the Erskine fire. In just minutes, their backyards consumed by flames. You'd never forget that fire coming at you that fast. God, it was just amazing. 20 minutes and it was hit from the top of the mountain down to here. And that was uh, it's fire all around us. Hubble still has the pictures on his phone, his wife only capturing two before they knew it was time to leave. In that same moment and just next door, Bob Ellis decided to stay. You can see that, that, whole, that whole thing came over. You can see where it's all burnt up in there. It just took everything and it was, it was plumbed back to here, plumbed down to this end over here. And like I said, it just went. <laughs> As his neighbors rushed down the hill to safety, Ellis grabbed his garden hose and worked to put out hot spots until Kern County Fire got to the scene. Now let's put it this way, if you're my neighbor and you saved my house, I'd feel the same way, but it's just something that happens and it's, if you can do that, that's good. Here in Squirrel Mountain Valley, the debris has been cleared. Many residents have rebuilt, but over the hill in South Lake, a much different story. Undoubtedly, the area impacted the most by the Erskine fire. Hundreds of homes here leveled, two lives lost. And days after the Erskine fire, neighbors placing signs on their charred properties, reminding themselves they would recover. And here's where that sign stood, that pledge to rebuild here in South Lake. It hasn't happened as fast for many residents. It hasn't happened for everyone here. But for Susan Ramey, who called this area home for so many years, this place will forever be special to her. There you go, sweetie. Thank you, you guys have a good one. You we met Ramey at her job just down the road at Mount Mesa Food Market. To us, recalling the day that changed her life. Ended up with about three things. And um, the sheriff came up saying, leave, get out of this place as fast as you can. Ramey would lose everything, but in the time since Erskine, she's been able to purchase a new home. The property that I have now is larger, mm. uh, three bedroom, beautiful and overlooks the lake. So we were very blessed. We were extremely blessed. And while Ramey considers herself lucky, she was fully insured, some here not as fortunate. In the months following the fire, we would learn a power line coming into contact with trees at the current archers on state-owned property would be to blame for igniting the blaze. State officials ordered to pay $25 million in insurance settlements. And while that money may help some residents rebuild, many in this area moving past who's to blame, rather choosing to lift up their neighbors and their community. And I have my neighbors that still come up and say, hey, how are you doing? And yeah, I still know people. Yeah. It's a good community, and I think it's got real good people here. It's just a great place to live, I think. A group of Kern County residents coming together to heal, refusing to let a fire define them. In the Kern River Valley, Tim Callahan, 23 ABC, connecting you. And while many people like Ramey, the Ellises, and the Hubbles who have stayed in the Kern River Valley, many have left since the Erskine fire to live with family out of town or to start a new chapter in their lives. But residents say the Kern River Valley will always feel like home to them, even if some of their friends and family have left. Now we are